우리는 기억합니다. 자유와 평화를 위해 치렀던 숭고한 희생의 가치. 1950년 7월 5일 중미령. 그날의 기억이 60년 세월의 강을 건넌 끝에 6인의 스미스 부대원을 통해 빛바랜 사진처럼 되살아났습니다. 스미스 부대로부터 온 편지 July the 5th. I'll never forget that day. Seven o'clock in the morning. I was just sitting in my hole where I all just relaxed and it started raining. At seven o'clock, they started throwing everything at us. I was like, oh, here they come. I was scared. Uh, my friend was Paul Arson, and uh, he and I were corporals, and we sat there being able to look out, and I had one cigarette left, and I broke it in the half, and I gave half to Paul, and I took half. But anyway, uh, Paul and I, were jumped, we jumped in a hole, and we were fighting the North Koreans. And uh, all of a sudden, I heard something like, um, um, just like you slapped a piece of meat. And I looked over. <laughs> and Paul had caught uh, uh, two bullets in the face. Many of them were dead. Uh, we, we brought a few wounded back with us, but it, it wasn't a very good day for us. It was raining, so many guys were sick. Uh, some of the guys come up with pneumonia. Uh, everybody was just wet, you know. But, We uh, we done the best we could. That's all. Because it, it, again, in looking back, just by being there it doesn't necessarily make you proud, but it, it it does give me a great deal of respect for those who gave so much more than I did. All I gave was some time. I didn't do it. Those are the ones I had the most respect for. And I have also garnered a respect for the South Koreans at the same time that is the military. I think we did the right thing. I, even though I didn't think so at the time, uh, I think we did the right thing. And uh, all in all, uh, look at the difference between your country and North Korea. So having said that, it said, hey, we must have done something right because they're doing great. And the other guys are doing so badly.
대한민국의 자유와 평화를 지켜준 당신 고맙습니다.